Hi everybody! In this quick tutorial I'm going to show you how to add and edit text in Blender. Check it out! Alright, so we have an empty scene here. What we have to do in object mode, add text. Here's our text. Let's rotate it 90 degrees on the x-axis, so it's horizontal here. And of course you want to type your own text, so with the text object selected, switch into edit mode. You can see the cursor now, so use your keyboard to type whatever you want. Hi there. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Hi there. Okay, so we have a 2D plain text here. Now we want to make it look like more 3D, so give it some depth. We have to enable this panel here with this A letter, okay? Then go to geometry and extrude it a little bit. Okay, whatever you want. We can go back to object mode actually, then we can extrude it, okay. We can also set some offset, but you know, you have to be careful with this because it doesn't look great, so I would leave it as zero meters here, okay. Another thing you can do is giving it some depth, a little bit, you know, to make it look like rounded edges. It looks gummy like this, but I like it. Then, if you're not satisfied about the default font, you can expand this panel here and open a folder where you have some custom fonts. Here's mine, for instance. So, you can select the font you want, double-click, and here it is. That's a great function. But, one thing you have to be careful of is that not all fonts are compatible with Blender. See? This font here, if I do double-click, it doesn't change because it's not compatible. So, you, it's just a matter of trying the best font for your project. This one doesn't look good either, okay? So let's try this one, uh, whatever. This one looks nice. <laughs> okay, so you're ready to go, actually. Uh, if you wanna paint this text with a texture paint option, you can do that until it's a text object. So what you have to do is, with the object selected, right-click, convert to mesh. Now it's the same thing as if you added like a plane, a cube, a circle, a cylinder, whatever, a 3D model. Now you can go to texture paint and do all the necessary things to paint your object. All right, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel to stay updated about new videos and tutorials. And don't forget to play my games if you want to have some fun and keep your brain healthy. Links are in the description. See you next time.